Coming up on this edition of Gridiron Sports Talk, we talk about the Paralympics, and this is part two because the Paralympics is still going on. Uh, is still going on. All that and much more when Gridiron Sports Talk starts right now. Welcome to this edition of Gridiron Sports Talk, the one and only program that fo focuses on the needs, concerns, and abilities of all people in wheelchair sports and other sports. I'm Lauren Seiler. On this edition, we talk about the Paralympics Part 2. Let's begin. So far, um, the, as you can see from my screen, that the Paralympics has been going on. Uh, so right now, this is day seven of the Paralympics. So um, as you can see from this website, www.paralympic.org, P-A-R-A-A-L-Y-M-P-I-C.org. Uh, this is uh, Paris 2024. So when you click here, you can uh, see the different things that are happening. This is day seven. Uh, this is the semifinal, uh, the semifinal heartache for Biba Vio in wheelchair fencing. Javelin world record is smashed by Saeed Avruz and cyclist Sarah Sto Story and Osana Masters shine on the road um and this is coming from september 4th um uh, september 4th 2024 uh Biba Vio was defeated in her wheelchair fencing semifinal bout of Par um paris 2024 wheelchair the wheelchair fencing final headache for BB. Italy's Bibi Vio saw <clears throat> her hopes for defending her Paralympic wheelchair fencing women's foil category title B ended at the semifinal stage. In in a bout that included a lengthy delay in early stages, BB was a torch bearer for the opening ceremony, it fell behind 12, uh, 12, to, um, 12 to 4. She battled to back four points, 13 to 9, for Zao to clinch victory in the final two points. BB reco recovered to win <clears throat> a, a rep charge match against. China King Zhu, and it will go in the bronze medal against the Republic of Korea, Chaeung Chaeung He. This evening, Zaya will go for the gold and verse Thailand's Jana Jana Se Sun Si. The world record throw. For Paro Javelin Gold, uh, Islamic Republic of Iran, Sayah of Ruth, surpassed the world record as he set the same just over 12 months ago to win the men's Javelin F-43. Of Ruth, through um th through a distance of 40 of 41.16 centimeters to be to uh to beat Colombia's uh, Mariko Valencia into second place with his uh compatriot uh his name is Fernando Menenses and and Medina taking the bronze in third. Avru said, 
I'm very happy to come here to Paris to get the gold medal. I got a new world record I've been working on. It's a dream of mine. Elsewhere in the Paralympics, morning session, Tanzania, <clears throat> Tanzania, Tali, uh, Tanzania, um, Tanzania's uh, Raua Tali won the women's discus throw F41 to seal her third consecutive Paralympic title in a discipline of of Canada's Greg Stewart and took home the gold in men's shot put uh, the men's shot put F-46 um, elsewhere in the Paralympics Jordan's Omar Hamden Kuroda won the pa the para powerlifting Gold of the game with a lift of 181 kilograms, clinching gold in the men's up 49 kilogram final. Turkey's Abdullah Kapnur, uh <clears throat> took a, took the silver medal of 180 kilograms in Vietnam uh, um, uh, versus Vietnam's. Collecting bronze at 171 kilograms. And then further into that. Um, story and masters shine on the road. Um, paracycling Sarah Story and Osana Masters both sealed the gold medals in the competition and moved from track to the road. Team GB Stories extended her own record of, of um, 18 Paralympic gold medals in the C5 individual time trial. USA Masters defended her H4 and H5 individual time title from Tokyo's 2020 and races and races took place um, in Sinchi Sun's bowels. Masters said, "I had the uh, Masters has said I have no idea when I first crossed the finish line, and all of a sudden, very very vaguely, I hear gold for the USA, and and they um and they say just gold." I can't believe it. And the tennis title, uh, the tennis title for Power Olympics, goes for for uh, for Nata for for Natalia uh, Partiva of of Russia in the pa Power Table Tennis single title. Gold was extended in the second straight Power Olympics uh, by Australia. <clears throat> by Australia's Quinn Yang. Yang said who beat um, Patia in the semifinal stage at Tokyo 2020 also said that the most recent world champions recorded a 3-0 three to, three to zero win to retain the gold medal. Yang said, I'm very excited and happy <clears throat> to have this after Tokyo, before the match, I didn't expect that I would win, but I was well prepared and tried to to predict Natia was going to hit me. Young is being tipped to represent um, Australia in the next Olympic Games, and. When you go down here, um, you can click here and find out what else is um, new in this website. So let's click here. Paris 2024, David Hadfield, MBE, receives 
a Paralympic order. Former president of World Batia, uh, Batia recognized with Paralympics movement's highest honor. So, um, the International Paralympic Committee, IPC President Andrew Parsons, has presented David Hadfield, MBE, with um, former president of World Bocce uh, for his 2023 Olympic order at the Paralymp Paralympic Games. The Paralympic order is the highest and most prestigious accolade anyone can be recognized by the IPC is awarded for individuals and, and organizations that have an outstanding, long-lasting contributions to the Paralympic movement. Although Hadfield was named at, at the Paralympic Order recipient last year, he was unable to attend the 2023 IPC General Assembly to collect accolade. As a result, the IPC president presented him with an award um, at South Paris Arena, the Paris 2024 Bocce venture, uh, uh, venue um, following the competition on Sunday. David Hatfield, MBE, served as the founding president of World Bocce um, from September 2012 until March 2023. However, his involvement with the sports began in 2009. He negotiated a separation from Bocce and the Cerebral Palsy International Sports and Recreation Association to create a standalone international sports federation which counts as membership across 43 countries. Andrew Parsons, IPC president, said that there's no greater honor uh, um, as IPC president to recognize individuals who have made <clears throat> outstanding contributions to the Paralympic movement with Paralympic order. And... This goes on to say, in just one decade, David Hatfield spearheaded the transformation of bocce from a small sport within IPISRA to a thriving independent federation and one of the fastest growing of Paralympic sports. The, um, the, evolu the evolution of world bocce, thanks to David's efforts has been nothing short of remarkable. The Paralympic Order was presented in 1994. The first, the first, Paralymp the first Paralympic um, Order was presented in 1994. And the more you go down, um, you can get more information. So this is www dot paralympic dot org forward slash paris two thousand twenty four. Okay, and I'm going to um, give you more information. Let me um, log on here. Paralympic Games, Summer and Winter. Paralympic Games, which first took place in Rome, Italy in 1960, featured 400 athletes. So let's um, click that to get more information on. Um, here we go. So um, the Paralympic Games 
um, which start, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of repeating this from last time, but this is important. Um, on July 29, 1948, the day of the opening ceremonies of London 1948 uh, games, Dr. Gutman organized the first for wheelchair athletes, which he named the Stroke Manville Games, a milestone of Paralympic history. They involved six injured, 16 injured servicemen and women that took took place that took part in archery. The Manville Stroke Mandeville the Stroke Mandeville Games became the Paralympic Games, which first took place in Rome in 1960s, featuring 400 athletes from 23 countries. Since they have taking place every four years. In 1976, the first Winter Games of the Paralympic history was held in Sweden, and the Summer Games have taken place every four years and included the Paralympic opening ceremony and Paralympic closing ceremony. Since the Summer Games in Seoul, Korea, in 1988, and the Winter Games in Albertville, France, in 1992, the games have been taking place in the same cities and venues as the Olympics due to an agreement between IPC and IOC. So... Um, again, I'm going to repeat this from last time. In 2028, we have the, the LA um, in Los Angeles, the um, the Paralympic Games. In 2026, in um, in Milano, Cortina is um, Paralympic Games. Um, this is the uh, Paris 2024. So, um, this is the game we're in now, and um, so let's um, go here if I can click this, if it lets me. Uh, yeah, so if you want to find out more information, you can um, click to that and uh, find out more information. So, if you want more information... Uh, you can go to www.paralympic.org, www.paralympic.org. And um, the Paralympics for 2028 is in L.A. It goes from August 15th to August 27th, 2028. And um, again, for more information on the Paralympics, you can go to www.paralympic.org forward slash LA2028. And uh, for more information, which I will give here on Special Olympics, because this kind of... Um, if you want more information on Special Olympics Vermont, okay, uh, www.specialolympic, uh, www.specialolympicsvermont.org forward slash, um, it, you know, you can find out now Special Olympics Vermont. Um, has 296 coaches, 2,900 plus inspiring athletes, 3,000 plus enthusiastic volunteers, and their mission to working to foster the inclusion and acceptance of individuals with intellectual disabilities by using the power of sports and to showcase their gifts and abilities. Um, so if you want to get involved, you can click on some of these um, resources here, events, 
So, so let me kind of go over some of the lo local events on the event calendar for Vermont Special Olympics. The upcoming event, uh, Friday, September 6th, or oh, this Friday, September 6th, uh, is e the L-E-T-R Cup on a Rooftop, sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts, and it is the Law Enforcement Torch Run. Um, the, um, the fall, the fall field and soccer track and field games, uh, is sponsored by Casella. If you want to learn more, you can click here. Let me, um, go here. <clears throat> Special Olympics Vermont, for, uh, presented by Casella, uh, is, um, the fall games track and field um, soccer competitions. You can uh, click here to find out more information on September 14, 2024 from uh, 12 a.m. to um, 4.50, from 12 a.m. to 4.50 a.m., um, which kind of makes no sense, but okay. Um, 12 a.m. to 4.50 a.m., Essex High School, um, two educational drive, and um, in Essex Junction. So uh, that might be a mistake. You might want to contact Special Olympics to find out more information on um, that. Um, um, so for more information... On that, you can go to www.specialolympics.org. Um, it's sponsored by Casella, but uh, if I would, um, if I were you, I would um, check out the appropriate times because that might that might be a mistake. Um, anyway, Special Olympic Vermont dot uh, org www.specialolympicsvermont.org forward slash event details 2024 I'm Lauren Seiler see you next time on the next edition of Great Iron Sports Talk where we talk football all that and much more if you want more information on Great Iron Sports Talk you can go to www.orcamedia.net I'm Lauren Seiler see you next time